to Boracay. And if you are interested to know how is it to get here at this time, pandemic, we've got you covered. So please stick with us as we tell you the details of what you need to figure out, like what we did not do and you should do. We flew from Cebu to Katiklan Airport. Highly recommend flying here to Boracay. Easiest way to get here, short flight. But one thing you need to know right now, we have to fill out, which we didn't do, and we scrambled at the last minute. Don't be like us. Fill out the touristboracay.com. There's a whole long form, like the one health pass you had to do to get into the country. Kind of a pain, do it before you get to the airport. Not like we did, we didn't know. Very important. We're gonna put a link in the description below to do that. From Cebu City Airport, Mactan International Airport to the Katiklan Airport and then you don't really land in, in Boracay Island, you will have to first land in Katiklan and get go to So once you land in Boracay, it's a very tiny airport, you walk in, uh, they ask for your tourist Boracay QR code, kind of like the one health pass, you enter the country, you do that. But then the next step, the biggest step here is how do you get from Katikan Airport to Boracay? Once you get to the airport, you're gonna to get to a counter where they offer you 1,000 peso per person to bring you from the airport to your hotel. The other option is to actually take for 100 pesos each, you get a van to the jetty. Do that, or you can even take a tricycle for less probably, but we did the 100 each for the van, more comfortable, especially for our luggage. So before you actually hop in the van at the airport, you actually are given a sticker. You have to stick it on your shirt and it shows what type of transportation you chose. So since we chose the van, so it's only van only. From the van airport to the jetty, we we're guided all the way through the process. When you get to that jetty, like Jumi was saying, there's people wearing pink shirts, kind of how they stand out, and they break down the whole thing for you. So when you get to Boracay, there's actually a few fees you have to pay. It's not just paying for the jetty, you actually have to pay. Uh, Charge like share, an... terminal fee, environmental fee, your boat ticket, and then you transfer from port 450 for the Filipino, and 450, but you just add 150 because your environmental fee is different. You will pay 300 pesos for your environmental fee. 450 for the Filipina. And it's no. 600 for you. Foreign. Oh, same. Oh my goodness. Same, 600, 600. <laughs> for everything. Yes, yes, yes. Terminal fee, environmental fee, your boat ticket. Because the total, you must pay 450, one person only here. Not yes. including your transportation from port to your hotel. So we just add 150 for you. 150 for you for the transportation and India assistance here from to go to your hotel. You need to prepare your QR code and valid ID, okay? Okay. So passport. Okay. So all in for us as foreigners, it was 600 peso for everything, which is good value and it's just, it was very organized. Everyone just got us along every step of the way. For foreigners or if you hold foreign documentation, you are charged foreign price. And also, when you go in line, make sure that you have your tourist Barakai QR pass ready and an identification. We were being guided to the E-Trike terminal. terminal. And from that terminal, we're transported to our hotel to the station of our hotel and from there we just walked another thing they're gonna give you they're gonna give you a sticker with your hotel name on it 
They're gonna have that just so once you get from the boat to the island, they're gonna arrange the tricycle for you to take you to your hotel for whatever station you're staying in, three, two, one, or anywhere else on the island. Very easy, they really simplified the process for us. It's amazing how organized the travel from Katiklan Airport to Boracay Island was or yeah. has been. Even with all the chaotic QR codes and all this stuff, they make it very simple. I highly recommend doing it, and we saved 600 pesos doing it. Could we have saved a little bit more? Maybe, but you know what? That extra 600 pesos we saved, we could spend it on San Mig and Red Horse. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for watching. Yeah. So Look we're where gonna we are now, it's beautiful. <laughs> now, is it worth it to come here? You got to stay tuned to our next video to find out about that. We're spending five nights here in Boracay, and we're gonna give you the lowdown on how it's like to be here right now in the next video. Stay tuned, We've got a lot more good stuff coming for you. See you next time.